Hola, I'm Bella Singh and you are listening to the Sing Sunday podcast. So I just turned 17, woo, and it's crazy because I still feel like the year is 2016 and I'm 12 and I'm coming home from school to listen to Views by Drake and all the great songs on there. So it really makes me think, what is time and like what really is the concept of time? Everyone only has so much time, but nobody knows how much time there is. And you can have all these goals and some people even make these five year life plans. But how do you know that you even have five years? Like Pop Smoke, he didn't make it to 21. He didn't get to see his 823 million. X didn't get to see his son. We're in a whole pandemic. And what's so annoying about being in a pandemic is that it's not like chicken pox. You don't know who has coronavirus. Literally anyone can have it it's invisible. There's the saying, time flies when you're having fun. But what about when you're not having fun? Because then just you feel as if time is staying still and it lasts forever and you just feel so stuck in bad situations. Whereas when you've been on holiday or you're having a sleepover at someone's house and it's so fun, you feel like you never want it to end and it just goes so quickly and I find that I look at myself and think I just really need to focus on living the moment and because you're having so much fun you don't want to think about it ending but also time is a science there's so much physics and maths behind it Einstein said the distinction between past present and future is only a stubbornly persistent illusion and there's there's so many arguments about the actual concept of time and what is it is it like moving there's all these theories it's crazy the inconsistency between the nature of time in quantum mechanics and the way it functions in relativity has created a lot of confusion amongst everyone and then on top of that we have all the stuff about black holes and then to make it even more confusing there are these arguments about numbers as if they're finite or something that just fundamentally exists or some people say there are infinitely many digits And then other people are saying the digits just keep being made as time progresses. But you don't have to view time as this crazy scientific thing that they've made it out to be. Because personally, I feel like it's something so much more than that. And that time can definitely represent things such as growth. For me, I feel like the present is the only thing that you can change and then your future changes according to what you're doing right now in the moment because you can do things in order to help your future but one thing you really can't go back and change at all is the past. As a human, you really have to just learn to live with everything that you've done. To be honest, I don't regret anything from my past like I look back at stuff and think what on earth was I doing but I don't have a full-on regret for anything because if I didn't do those things I wouldn't be where I am now and there have been some stuff happen that's just really unnecessary and out of my control and then there were things that I could have done to prevent happening but if I did that I wouldn't have learned from the problem that arose from the issue. And the same goes for friendships because I know that I can't regret them. Yes, I look back and think that was definitely a red flag. Why did I ignore it? But by being in those friendships, I learned such valuable lessons from them. Your failed friendships not only teach you how to handle yourself in certain situations, but you also learn about the inner workings of other people and 
how weak of a person some people are you know there are people who are just so impressionable and they fly with the wind they go in any direction and I've really learned how important it is to be able to stand my own ground like I don't want to have to go and live through certain things again but if I didn't live through them I wouldn't have been able to grow as much as I have let's say someone goes through high school with zero arguments that's a crazy concept to me. I don't know if anyone has gone through high school with zero arguments. But then if you become older and you've never had an argument with someone, you're not going to know how to handle that in the bigger world outside of the school setting. So by learning about how to act in an argument, I'm just, I feel so prepared for more future problems that I'm going to face. And it's also important to know that different people do different things at separate stages of life. Like my mum had me in her 30s, but some people, they start having kids when they're like 21. You know, I enjoy going on famous birthdays, but then it really makes me think, how is this person an 04 and they've already done so much? Like I'm an 03, why haven't I done that much? But you just need to think about how the life journey for everyone is so different and people come from different backgrounds and have different predetermined levels of privilege and you know some people on the internet they're meant to blow up at 15 whilst someone else is set for success at the age of 25. Time is just something that everyone considers to pass in their own way like an age is just a number but it signifies that you've done so much more with your life such as me at 14 where I haven't done any big tests in school like GCSEs versus me at 16 or even now because I'm 17 but I've only been for a week um I've learned so much in those few years and people say oh two years is nothing but throughout your life two years you really do change in that time i think that everyone should focus on living in the moment stop dwelling on the past and stop keeping your head worrying about the future because i even do it myself but it's just you feel so much better when you focus on the current moment that you're actually in it's good to prepare for your future but you also want to just take some time and enjoy your present because you don't even know how much of your future you have to live. This has been the Sing Sunday podcast. I'm your host, Bella Singh, and I upload a new podcast episode every Sunday, which is available on Spotify and YouTube. Thank you for listening and adios.